the doctor is in our studio. We are so happy to welcome Dr. Reese Jones with Southern Cancer Center. And today we are talking about a new cancer treatment, as I mentioned, with fewer side effects than chemotherapy. This is very exciting technology that's being used on a lot of different cancers. And we're talking about immunotherapy. People might have heard this term. What exactly does that mean? Uh, immune therapy is different than anything we've ever used to treat cancer. And the, you know, chemotherapy has always just attacked cancer of fast growing cells, but immune therapy actually allows your body's own natural immune system to attack the cancer. So it's not a foreign agent and it's able to, to treat cancer with better results than we've ever seen and actually better tolerated than anything we've ever used before. Wow. So how do you, how exactly do you do this? How do you use somebody's own immune system to attack the cancer? Well, as a general rule, the, the, the immune therapy, it's an IV treatment. Um, cancer is smart. It, uh, it applies a break mechanism to the body's immune therapy. The immune therapy basically releases that break mechanism and allows the body's immune system to, to go into overdrive, so to speak. It knows that cancer doesn't doesn't belong there, therefore it can attack the cancer. Wow, I mean it's amazing. You, you were sitting here talking about how far treatment has come right. and you're seeing such promising results. Yeah, we're seeing survival rates we've never seen before. I, I would venture to say in, in my career immune therapy is the biggest advance we've had. And so what types of cancer are you using this to treat? Uh, it's probably easier to ask what we're not using to treat with. Wow. It's, it's uh, actually approved in nearly 20 cancers now. It really got its, its main start in melanoma but has since been moved into virtually all solid tumors and is also used in hematologic malignancies, uh, uh, leukemias, and lymphomas. Because I haven't heard about a lot of breast cancer survivors being given this. Is that something that, it, it, are they being given it? They are now. It's, it's actually been approved now in combination with chemotherapy in, in the triple negative subset of breast cancer, which is the most aggressive type of bre uh, uh, breast cancer that we see. So it has moved into the breast cancer. It's lagged a little bit behind in that arena, but it is starting to, to make its way into that treatment. And I know this is something you use all the time at Southern Cancer Center, but if someone maybe is being treated at another hospital or cancer center. Is this something that's readily available all over the place or are you guys really at the forefront of this? Uh, it typically is readily available. Um, it, you know, the IV treatments that we give, there are more I advanced types of treatments, something called CAR T cell therapy, which is where you actually remove blood, uh, remove the T cells from a patient's uh, uh, immune system. You genetically uh, alter those and then reinstitute them into mm -hmm. the patient's bloodstream. That's actually done at larger institutions, but in terms of IV immune therapy, it, it is readily available ac across the world. Wow, okay, well there, we have so much to talk about with Dr. Reese Jones about immunotherapy and this new cancer treatment, fewer side effects. We want you to ask Dr. Reese Jones your questions. We're gonna be on Facebook Live at 1230, so just get ready to log in and he'll answer any question that you might have. Thanks so much, Dr. Thank Jones. Thank you.